Good morning or afternoon, depending on when you are watching. I am your naturalist for your virtual hike in Chisholm Creek Park today. So if you'd like to join me, Alicia, on a hike, please feel free to watch. And somewhere out in the distance, you can hear the chickadees doing their, their sweetie or bee bee call. That two note trill that goes up, down. So even though some of the fog is burned off, um, it's still a very overcast day, so we're going to see what's out. Okay, lots of cardinals. Some very recent and very fresh deer tracks. more tracks. Oh, well, they're not quite as exciting. Uh, this is not wildlife. These are dogs, which this should be a good reminder that we do not allow dogs inside the park, just on the bike trail. Robin singing for all it's worth. And the call you hear is the red-winged blackbird, who is up in this tree. A very, very pretty trail. I want to know what the thing in the tree is! I want to know what the thing in the tree is! Oh my god, it looks like a bird nest. It looks like a bird nest. We're gonna get closer. Okay, that looks like a bird nest to me. It is so small! Oh, I love that this stuff is growing like on the concrete. So some of our trees have gotten the memo and have decided that it is very much spring. Hey, it looks like there's some bee perching down there. We should go check it out. Nope, it's just a tree. Lichen is the coolest thing because it is a new organism that is created by a combination of algae and fungus living together and they make this new organism that is known as lichen and it's so pretty so so pretty more deer tracks but if you can hear it And the mud is actually burbling. You can hear it kind of like, like a very, very quiet Rice Krispies. The thing I love about dew is the way it catches on everything. And you can see it on these spider webs, which are amazing. It's like pearls. And so you can see where all the spider webs are. So if you're like me and you like them, they're easy to find. Or if you don't like them, they're easy to avoid. And with the rains comes fungus and cedar apple rust, getting those weird kind of 
orangey tentacle things that they use to release spores starting to come out. There's a few of them on this tree. There's a big one. And there's one up here. Yep, there they are. They can even be really, really tiny. As you can see here, all of these little tiny, so, oh, my finger looks huge. So all of these even, it's kind of all over this uh, female Easter and red cedar. So another fun thing that comes with water is the fact that these bridges are very, very slick. So they actually, you could, you could kind of skate on them, so you have to be very careful how you're walking. The sun has officially come out, and we'll see what else comes out with the uh, sunshine. Well, something startled the dog. It's a little wet and muddy. <laughs> totally made it, didn't fall in. So these are caused by a little tiny fly known as a goldenrod golf fly and they basically overwinter inside those galls so we'll have adults emerging at some point but if you look out especially before the grass has started uh, greening up you can really see all of the goldenrod galls we've got one there got one, one out here and one out there I know this is a virtual hike, but it looks, sounds, thank you Blue Jays, and smells just like spring out here. It's so pretty out here right now. It is definitely spring. Oh, the sumac is so very, 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 very red. Oh, and I have found a lot of um, Got fur all kinds of fur here, here. Yeah, this is this is a lot of fur. Just a reminder: you need to look both high and low. You can really see and hear the water flowing. Just flew in. Yeah, so it's a type of woodpecker. And woodpecker just flew in. There it is. And a yucca. For some reason, we have a yucca. Ah, I found some last year's fungus. Very cool. It's a little muddy. Make that very muddy.
I found looks like some mussel shells here. In fact, there are lots of mussel shells here, including this one, but still um, together you can see it's it's bivalve. Valveness is still connected. Very cool. This is quite literally the prettiest patch of moss I have ever seen. Turtle. There's a turtle officially sunning itself on the log. We have turtles, folks. I wonder who made these prints. Could it have been the geese? Found more tracks. Ducks. So as we near the end of our journey, I wanted to thank you for taking this virtual hike with me, and I hope you guys had a really good time. This is Alicia signing off.